Well, for more, we can now uh, speak to Iris Mackler, who joins us live from Jerusalem. Iris, uh, I'd just like to start by asking, what is the importance of this visit? What's the significance? Well, it's the first visit by an Israeli prime minister since this deal was signed more than a year ago now. There were reasons for that because, you know, there is between seven and eight flights daily from Tel Aviv to Dubai. So the people have taken this Abraham Accord on board. But for various reasons, including COVID, this hasn't happened till now. So it's a cementing of that relationship and acknowledgement of this relationship. Uh, and I think most importantly, if I had to say one word, it's Iran. You know, it's a regional uh, it's, it's very important regionally right now because of the talks in Vienna, and we're seeing lots of movement in the region. We've seen the Syrian foreign minister in Tehran. We've seen the Saudi leader, Prince Mohammed bin Salman, in Oman. Last week, we saw the um, United Arab Emirates security advisor in Tehran. So now we're seeing Israel's leader moving in after that because there's a concern in Israel about these talks, about the relationship you know what, I think I'd have to say that one of the, the factors that glues this, this group together, this Abraham Accords together, is their relationship with Iran. And the sight of the UAE getting a bit closer to Iran is very worrying for Israel. So that's why we're seeing this spate of visits across the region. And that's partly why we're seeing this prime minister in the UAE today and going to meet uh, with MBZ with the leader tomorrow.